Duly noted, 7-22-2013. Hi, I'm Dr. Kathy Dooley. I'm here at the Dominican College Doctorate in Physical Therapy Program where I teach gross anatomy for a course here in the summer. This is Anna Williams. Hi. She's one of my amazing classmates at Pacific College of Oriental Medicine. And this is the formidable Danny Cork. You should say some things about yourself. You're very special. Oh yeah, well just, uh, been doing a lot of anatomical work as of recently, an example of which you're being here. And Look at this, folks. And we're actually going to try something out today. We're going to try seeing if uh, we can bring the textbook to life, essentially. So uh, by basically, uh, it's going to be kind of a segue between the cadaver and the textbook, I guess, by painting on a living surface. We're going to see if it can better reiterate in the minds of like, the students what the anatomy is by actually having, like, by having this uh, movable, touchable sort, uh, sort of an anatomy where they can actually see where everything works, where everything comes from, and at the same time, uh, relating back to the book and cross references to the cadaver. Anatomy can be pretty boring. It's even boring if I'm teaching it sometimes because it's a little dry and the rote memorization that people have to go through. But this is where you can, like you said, bring the anatomy to life. And the students immediately after learning these compartments came into the lab with this life, did they not? They were so, oh my gosh. To get people excited about their learning process is the learning process. It's teaching people how to learn and get excited about things. And as you see from Anna, this is the uh, medial forearm, the flexor compartments, where we can denote the pronator teres, the bicipital aponeurosis, uh, the different flexor tendons, and then turn it around, and the extensor compartment is there. So the students can learn the outcropper muscles, all the muscles that do global extension of the forearm and hand. This is crucial for being able to bring things to life, where it's not two-dimensional out of a textbook. It's not a computer program, but on a real human being since the PT has to work on skin and can't see things in 3D like this. It gives them 3D conceptualization. Well, the good thing too about this too is that uh, if you want to flex your arms here, yeah. the tendons actually line up with the uh, extensor digitorum as well. So, <laughs> so they can so actually awesome. see how everything moves. And <laughs> very, very cool stuff. And the students are very excited about this. We're Super thrilled to have you. Super well, thrilled super that you could go here. Oh, thank you so much. And I know my students, have, they perked up immediately after four hours of lecture last night, four hours of lecture today, immediately got excited about learning anatomy on the actual surface, being able to appreciate surface anatomy to the real anatomy. So look out for Danny Quirk. Look out for the formidable Anna Williams, too. She's going to be an acupuncturist extraordinaire. Hopefully I can get her to work for me. And then myself, I'm Dr. Kathy Dooley. We'll see you next time.